Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you a technique how you can easily respawn your objects such as players or enemies in Unity 5. This video is going to be my first tutorial for Unity and for the game development. As scripting language we are going to use C Sharp, so let's start. I am currently developing a flight simulation game, so I'm going to explain you the tutorial on this environment. Let me show you first the current status of the game. The game currently contains a procedural landmass generator. I wrote this landmass generator pure in C-Sharp and Unity. You can easily set up and change regions such as water deep, water shallow, sand, grass, rocks, etc. In addition, it contains a procedural city generator, which will generate a city when you approach the airport. Both of the generators will be at the end endless generators. I have implemented an aircraft as well, which you can control using arrow keys. Let me show you the aircraft first. So let's fly around. In video games, spawning is the life creation of a character or item. Respawning is the recreation of an object after its death or destruction. In our case is our spawn object the airplane. I created an empty game object and named it to spawner. You can create an empty object when you right click and select this one, create empty. Then I created two other empty objects inside of it. You can easily drag and drop an object into another object like this. Now you can place your empty object wherever you want to spawn or respawn your object. So we will use our empty object's positions to respawn our object. Now select the spawner and add a new C sharp script to it. I called it spawn control.
as I already created the spawn controller I'm gonna show you now the code so what we need is actually two arrays the first one is spawner locations an array of, of the type transform this represents actually this one spawner locations I set the size of two I need I just have uh, two spawner location objects um, actually the empty objects we created before and then the prefabs which we want to spawn we can see them here I have an aircraft jet and enemy aircraft jet so what I have done is actually and then drag and drop our empty objects inside of the elements this is the first one and this is my enemy spawner location after that those are the locations and now we need the prefabs we want to spawn the first one on this location on the airplay spawner location I want to create my aircraft jet so I drag and dropped my aircraft into the element and my enemy aircraft airplane to the element 1 so that means I want to create my aircraft jet on airplane spawner location and my enemy aircraft jet on enemy spawner location so now take a look into the code actually we we need one two three four four methods four functions the first one is the start function which will be called when the game starts the other one is the spawn function we need a this uh, we need a, another function to destroy all cloned game objects and finally the latest one the respawn function so let me explain now all of them the first one I want to explain you is the spawn function this function actually does all the stuff so what we are doing here is we need a for loop where we will iterate our prefabs we want to spawn and then we will call the instantiate function we will get the pre-spawn from its position and we will create it on the spawner locations position and the whole as a game object actually it's that simple and it will iterate through all elements which we defined here for instance when the game ends the player wants to play again then we need two other functions the first one is the respawn and the other one is the destroy cloned game objects so the respawn function is actually a convenience method which calls two other methods first the destroyed clone game objects this function is actually really simple we also have three lines of code we need a for loop where we will iterate through our prefabs which we cloned we will call the destroy function and then uh, destroy the game object inside of this array when you don't do this then you will respawn new objects but you will still have already spawned objects inside your game and in a real game you don't want this after we destroyed all cloned game objects we actually will call the spawn function again it's that simple so let me now show you what you can do with this spawner 
Actually, when we start the game, our plane is placed on the runway. And when you actually change the position of the airplane, you can just select the airplane spawner location, empty object, and then just change its position to another place. like this and I now start the game my airplane will be placed on this location automatically so I hope you enjoyed the video see you in the next video until then cheers